Countries across West and Central Africa have traditionally depended on wheat imports to meet the demands for one of the world's most important crops. Reports indicate that African continents spend $20 billion annually on wheat imports, with Nigeria alone importing 6 million metric tons valued around $3 billion each year. Nevertheless, agricultural researchers believe that the continent has the capacity to achieve self-sufficiency in wheat production, reducing its reliance on imports. Production of wheat is becoming very profitable uh, because of the new varieties that have been released to farmers, high, very high yielding, very responsive to the agronomic packages that were developed by my institute, Lecture Research Institute. We have the ecology uh, necessary to, to grow the wheat in our country. So Burkina Faso, you say, is a Sahelian zone, but we grow wheat. This is our first interaction with this network. This belief has sparked a gathering of researchers and key stakeholders in wheat production value chain from West and Central Africa to discuss strategies for enhancing wheat production in the regions. Wheat is not just a staple. It is a vital component of economies, cultures and nutrition. As we convene today, we recognize the urgency of our mission, the impact of climate change, shifting agricultural practices and the global demand for food necessitates that we innovate and adapt. There's no much we can do in transforming the wheat sector if we don't invest in science, technology, and innovation. If you need a game-changing scheme, we must invest. The summit's focal point is prioritizing policy, innovative technologies, and investment in wheat transformation towards sustainable food security and economy in West and Central Africa.